Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paul Jacobs and I am a first year visual communication design student at Stellenbosch University. Today I'll be talking about my second term experience as a first year student in visual arts. Firstly, um, this term has been way better in some ways and also a bit challenging in other ways and it does make sense because i i'm still a first year student you know you might especially if you're coming from matric because you've reached like the peak of high school you'll think to yourself oh because you're older and more mature you're gonna come into you know your first year and adapt quickly and adapt easily but you know being at a different place um you know in a different province for me has been an experience in itself especially <laughs> with the change of seasons because hey Western Cape gets cold. Western Cape really gets cold. The moment it hit April, I had to pull out those winter blankets. I changed from, you know, shorts and dresses to hoodies. Because at night, it was literally, like, really cold. Especially if you're from KZN, you know, like me. So KZN peeps, if you're planning to live in the Western Cape, study in the Western Cape, I, I recommend be prepared, you know. You're going to need them layers um so uh you know res life you know living in res also i've started to get used to it um at first you know like before i actually you know came to Stellenbosch, i was really anxious about staying in res you know staying in a shared space but i can tell you that you know the experience has been nice in some ways it has been nice to be able to like connect with people and to be in a space where there's other people around you you know it, it just helps especially just to see life especially you know when you know you're going through it to be able to know that oh you know there's maybe that one friend in risk who you can you know call and you meet up in one of the more, you know, public spaces around and just have a chat. You know, the small chats you'd have in the morning, they really help, you know, emotionally on some of those other days, which, you know, felt a little rough. And also, you know, on campus, I've started to explore campus more. There's so many great spots on campus, whether it's to get, you know, your food or to get, you know, art supplies. And honestly speaking, the visual arts building is at one of the most convenient spots in my opinion one of the most convenient spots on campus simply because everything is so nearby but i think that's a nice thing about stellenbosch anyways is that you know a lot of things are at a walkable distance around campus so for me i found that really convenient and yeah i've just really enjoyed having that sort of benefit especially when i'm needing you know to grab some sort of art supply that i specifically want i can always just walk you know 10 minutes and already i'm at the mall and i can get it at pna you know so it's been a great experience you know just getting to enjoy the campus life if you are interested in seeing a more physical um experience of my second term i do have a video called a day in the life of an art student i will have the link somewhere here just check it out it's really cool the biggest thing academics remember in that first term video where i spoke about academics and things being very busy it has been Busy, busy, busy. Even though I had, it was not me exaggerating at that time, I can tell you, in that sort of department, things have not become <laughs> any better. It is just the demand that the course has, the demand that university has, and especially in a course like that's under visual arts. You have to understand that things are just because it's project based you always going to feel busy because there's always like a deadline 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 you know those every you know two weeks every you know depends on how long that that part is so it's like 
you have to acknowledge the fact that that's just the norm um i have not reached a point where i can say i've like perfectly balanced my life because you know that whole i think you've seen that chart of like academics social life wellness it's like you're just busy kind of like trying to juggle or three just making sure you eat but you submit before the deadline and you can see your friend like it's just it's just yeah and let's not even talk about marks <laughs> because hey university will humble you it will humble you i tell you yo academically you have to just make peace that your marks are your marks because if you're gonna come in here stressing about i need to get 80s you know from jump yo you you literally just no you're just gonna don't 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 put so much pressure on yourself don't hurt your feelings like that because yo you know the standard is just higher you just have to make peace with that the standard is higher even if you're doing art in high school and you're getting 90 percent or ni over 90 percent for each artwork you just have to make peace with the fact that in university you just need to step up your game and you are here to learn how to so that's the advice i can give you even in any other course you're gonna if you're planning to go to a, 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 an other another course in university is that the standard is higher and you just have to make peace that your marks might not always be what you want them to be but at the same time if you're just working hard and you're putting your effort in the artworks that you do you you will get you know very decent marks and and sometimes surprisingly even get a really good mark so it's just me learning how to really go with the flow everything academically because you know it's not you can't just focus exclusively on your academics it's live it's student life you know you need to be able to make sure that you enjoy the entire experience of being on campus even though i can say that when you're with covid we haven't i i can personally feel like i haven't really enjoyed campus life as much as i think i would have if things were all normal but yeah you just you can't just dedicate all your time to academics it's not healthy but at the same time it's that hard thing of like i have to have my things submitted with my academics the last two weeks of the term were complete <laughs> hell honestly they were complete hell i had too many things going on academically that i was trying to like balance and i just could not balance them and, and that's the thing you know I, I was like nine lectures behind with one of my modules i, I had tests i had quizzes had to prepare for an exam still had art projects going on that were due yeah like those last two weeks i can say like academically so far in my life not even academic just emotionally mentally everything i had like reached the lowest point like i'm i'm it's i'm surprised now but i can tell you that i was just going through the most and that's what i like in university yeah it's just yo like yeah i was just going through the most but what reassured me is that when i was talking to other people other people also doing other courses you know everyone was going through the most that's just second term like even if you can think of it in matric or every other grade like in high school second term fourth term are always you know a little on the rougher side because of exams and the demands that teachers have before exams and teachers still expecting work from you just before exams and that was exactly what was just happening with me because you know i had a project that just needed so much of my time and that's the thing too especially with a course in the arts is that what you're doing projects those projects are gonna take up most of your time and sometimes you will find that or often you're gonna find that you neglect your other modules which need you to you know have like 
watch lectures and do readings and you know tutorials you might find that you're like not focusing on those because you're spending most of your day trying to get your art stuff done because you know you're thinking of it according to your due dates because if you're like oh this is true in two weeks i'm gonna focus on that but you forget that you know the next week or even the next day after that two weeks you might have a test or you might have an exam so yeah i did not balance it well and it's just you know acknowledging it is the first step and i'm just hoping that through time i will learn how to manage my time better because it is so important because the workload in every course you know is a lot and what also assured me you know what also assured me was that everyone was going through the most the engineering students were crying the life science students were crying other st humanities students were crying well not necessarily physically cry i don't know if they were physically crying but i'm just saying like everyone you'd, in those two weeks you'd ask them how's it going and they'd be like you so it was like through that i realized that it's not like just me who's having a rough time with everything and the demand and especially you know with with covid too i think it also made academics way more demanding because of the lost lost time we have because we started really late we started the year very late we started it around march so it makes perfect sense you know why things could feel so demanding not just for us but the lecturers the university because at the end of the day we can't be missing chance of what we're supposed to learn every year um so we just have to you know stick through it i was still used to this notion of like in high school you'd work on one project for like six weeks or the entire term but now i've got like now i'm used to knowing that you know every two weeks you've got to be able to manage your time properly and get it done also because we're exploring so many different um media um i start i'm starting to see and discover other abilities if i can say that or other things that i'm actually enjoy or could be good at and that has been actually an incredible experience with this one project um it was very more crafty and i remember in like the first week yo i was doing a bad job like i was i was behind i felt like i was behind and i was doing badly but when it came to the second week where we i had to we know we had to do our own thing i found that i was actually doing quite a good job at it it was actually not as much of a struggle as it was in the first week and i actually excelled even my own expectations, I actually excelled my own expectation. I was, and I was really proud of myself. And I wouldn't have known that I'm really able to do that unless I had actually been given the experience to actually explore that. Um, you must just come with open mindedness because it's gonna, it, it feels confusing and deep sometimes because it's just so much more freer that's the thing with university and in arts in general is that now because you're at a university level it's way more open and more explorative and instead of just that notion of just make a pretty picture which in high school i won't attest to every place but it's low-key there like you know what you're supposed to do and you know how it's supposed to look right while here you kind of like discovering what is right for you and what's your type of like what's your identity within the art that you make um yeah in the course itself i have really enjoyed starting to learn deeper about other things um they are really making good effort in exposing us to different sort of you know mediums and software we can really play around with and deepen our knowledge um it still is as i said still is demanding but i'm definitely much more i can handle it better now because i know that's just the norm thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to my youtube channel i really appreciate your support
Thank you. Bye.